You see beauty results so fast with Noxzema, the cream that gives not one, but three beauty actions. One, Noxzema cleans like soap but does not dry your skin. Greaseless, washes off with water. Two, Noxzema softens like cream, fights dry skin but does not clog pores like greasy creams. Three, Noxzema helps clear and freshen your skin because it's medicated. That's why Noxzema gives you the naturally lovely complexion you want fast. Kirk Douglas, who plays the Dutch painter Van Gogh in the movie Lust for Life, comes from Amsterdam, that is, Amsterdam, New York, a small upstate town where Kirk Douglas was born 40 years ago. But Kirk has been places and done things since then. At St. Lawrence University, he was president of the student body and intercollegiate wrestling champion. He saw action and was wounded as a Navy officer in the Pacific during the war. He appeared on Broadway in several plays and became a Hollywood star about eight years ago with Champion. In Europe, Kirk Douglas not only made pictures, but met his wife, Anne, a Belgian girl. Kirk Douglas is home tonight in Beverly Hills, California. He lives in that Spanish modern house just off Sunset Boulevard. He, Anne, and their 15-month-old son, Peter, moved in about five months ago. His sons, Michael and Joel, are at school in Connecticut. Evening, Kirk. Hi, Ed. <laughs> Tell me, should I uh, go away and come back later? No, no, Ed. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm glad you came in. My wife is beginning to give me an awful tough time here. <laughs> How are you, Ed? All right, fine. As a matter of fact, I don't think you ever met my wife. No, I think once, uh, some time ago. Good evening, Ann. Good evening, Ed. Ed. <laughs> Tell me, is it really tennis playing weather out there tonight? <laughs> well, it's maybe a little warmer than in New York, but it's pretty chilly. <laughs> Not too bad. Well, shall we go in the house? Yes, sir. Come on. Kirk, uh, how many acres of land do you have there? It looks like about 100 from here. Well, it looks uh, pretty deceiving, Ed, because, what do we say, honey? We've got about a... Yeah, about an acre and a half. Of course, Ed, I don't know whether you can see. We have a lot of lovely trees here. Look, there's some banana palms there. Of course, no bananas, but the banana palms. And of course, we just put this fence in around the swimming pool to keep our little son, Peter, away from the water. Well, Kirk, is all this part of the reason why you wanted to be a movie star? Well, you know, Ed, very uh, seriously, I never even dreamed of being a, a movie star. My hope in life was always to be a, a Broadway actor. And I've done about 10 Broadway shows, but they were all flops. At least I was consistent. <laughs> but then a friend of mine, Lauren Bacall, got Hal Wallace interested in giving me a screen test. I was a little frightened at first. I didn't think I was the type. But then after another flop, I wrote out a check for $15 and the check bound. So I thought, well, maybe <laughs> I ought to give Hollywood a try. So I came out here, Ed, and, and I must say Hollywood's been pretty nice to me. Kirk, uh, did you ever dream of a home like this when you were a boy back in Amsterdam? I certainly didn't, Ed. As a matter of fact, my memories in Amsterdam are being surrounded by six sisters and earning my first money working in the uh, selling soda pop and candy bars to the mill workers in the rug and carpet mills around my home there. Well, Ann, I suppose you're more familiar with Amsterdam in the Netherlands than Amsterdam, New York. Is this the first time you've been to America? Oh, no, I had been to America several times before, Ed, uh, but only on a very short business trip. But this is the first time I live here. And as a matter of fact, my first trip to America was like a, giving a, an electric train to a little boy. <laughs> and uh, when I came to New York and walked on Fifth Avenue, I felt right away at home. And you thought this was the place for you, right? That's right. Uh, Anne, I suppose young Peter isn't old enough to be awake at this hour, is he? Well, uh, he's pretty young, but he took an extra nap in order to meet you. <laughs> now, let me get and Good. see if I can sure find him. Uh, Kirk, uh, you sort of wear two hats, don't you, as an actor and as head of uh, your own company, Bryna Productions. Did I pronounce that right, Bryna? Yes. yes, you did, and I'm happy you pronounced that right. <laughs> Where did you get the name? 
Well, Ed, Bryna is my mother's name. And the reason I call my company Bryna is, uh, you see, my mother's a wonderful woman who comes from Russia. And one day I took her with me to New York City on a trip. It was right after I did a picture called Champion, and she saw my name up in lights. And of course, she was very thrilled about it. I was too, and she thought, gee, America's such a wonderful land. My son's name up in lights. So I said, Ma, someday I'll put your name up in lights. So when it came around to forming a company, I named it after my mother, Bryna. Of course, her name isn't up in lights yet, but we're hoping. A very unusual and touching tribute. Kirk, what picture is the family firm working on nowadays? Well, my partner, my mother and I are very excited about the next picture, Ed. It's a picture called The Viking that we're going to shoot in the Scandinavian countries. Oh, as a matter of fact, the uh, art directors are up there now, and these sketches just came in this week from Stockholm, and they depict different scenes in the picture in various locales that they found in all the Scandinavian countries. They're interesting, aren't they? They are indeed. I don't seem to recognize the Van Gogh touch, Kirk. Uh, <laughs> Don't you have any of your own paintings in the house? Well, Ed, I'm not doing that well. I'm doing well enough to act in pictures about Van Gogh's life, but I'm not doing well enough to buy paintings by Van Gogh. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ed, I think I hear the talented member of our family. Come with me, will you? Good. Peter, come on, come on. Hi. 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 This is Peter Vincent Douglas. Hello, Peter. <laughs> And uh, do you think he's going to be another actor in the family? Well, I don't think he, he has told me yet what he wants to be, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's happy, though, isn't he? Yes, yeah. he's very happy. Hey, Ed, how do you like the haircut? That's, that's something. He got it for the show tonight. No, no long hair he, huh? No, he's not a long hair. Well, Kirk, uh, you're doing very fine at baby tending right now. Uh, I know you worked your way through college. Do you recommend that as an experience? Absolutely not, Ed. As a matter of fact, I feel very strongly about that. Uh, I think people who recommend you should work your way through college usually haven't done it themselves. I I'd like to feel that my son Peter or anybody else's son might have the opportunity to go to college and spend the time working on their subjects and having some fun doing it for the work that they're going to do later on in life. What do you say, Pete? Huh? Kirk, uh, you seem to like what you're doing, uh, both professionally and with Peter. What do you find is your biggest reward? Well, Ed, I think that anyone who's doing the work that he really wants to do is pretty lucky. And I feel very fortunate to be able to be earning my money, doing what I like to do, and that's acting. And if occasionally I do a picture that people really enjoy seeing, and I feel that millions of people all over the world are sort of taken out of their problems for a while, watching me portray other problems, that gives me quite a bit of gratification. Do you keep any mementos about of uh, what you've done in the past? No, not sir. Uh, I don't like to keep mementos around me, Ed, because I tell you, I, I have a very funny... Honey, you think we ought to get him to go to bed now? <coughs> huh? You think it's past your bedtime? Come on, Ed, I think we ought to get him up to bed. Okay. <laughs> you take a night, Ed? Good night. Good night, Peter. Take Good night, boy. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Dave. Come on, you know this Good is night. past your bedtime. You Kirk, uh, yeah. do you ever miss the reaction of a Broadway audience? Yes, uh, Ed. As a matter of fact, uh, of course, you know, the sound of applause is something that every actor likes to hear. You see, when you're making a movie, you spend months shooting a picture, months putting it together, and then maybe six months or a year later, uh, the picture comes out and you have to wait that long to find out whether or not the audience likes it, whereas in a play, the reaction is immediate. But sometimes you do get a reaction, like the uh, Film Critics Award, for example. Well, I must say, Ed, as a matter of fact, that's something that after 27 movies, here it is, and I'm very proud of it. Well, that can't be the only award you've ever won. Uh, where are the others? Well, Ed, i tell you something. I've never kept awards... Uh, around for one simple reason. I always feel if I have things that I've done around me, I'll feel like an old man looking backwards. And I like to look ahead, so what I do really is uh, send any plaques or trophies that I win to my mother. And if you ever get to Albany, New York, stop in and she'll take you on a 50 cent tour. <laughs> well then if you win an Oscar for Van Gogh, you'll send that to your mother too, will you? Oh Ed, but you shouldn't have said that. You what? shouldn't have said that. Well you know, I tell you a funny thing. You see, I got two nominations 
But there was another picture that I did where people had me convinced that I really was going to win the Oscar. That was a picture called Detective Story, and I began to believe it. And I worked out a beautiful acceptance speech. <laughs> and what happened, Ed, was not only I didn't win the Oscar, I, even, I didn't get nominated. So this year, you know, I feel what with terrific performances like, well, Gary Cooper and Burt Lancaster, Ewell Brenner, and quite a few others, I'll be very happy if I get a nomination. Well, I'll make a small bet you will be nominated. Uh, Anne, uh, did you ever want to be an actress? Uh, no, really not. I always prefer to be on the other side of the scene, really. I'm glad to hear that answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm afraid it's just about time for us to say good night to Anne and Kirk Douglas and uh, also to that young man upstairs. Well, wait a minute, Ed. How about a drink for the road? And I want to show you a uh, part of our house here that my sons in Westport, Michael and Peter, are very fond of. This is their favorite place, the soda fountain. Now, what are you going to have, chocolate or vanilla, huh? I'll have chocolate. All right, you've got it. I hope that's not too much ice cream for you. Can Kirk, you hear the you sound of that two cents plane? <laughs> I'd like to come back and collect that later. Kirk, you look very professional behind that soda fountain. Well, I don't do too badly at it. I've had a little experience. Let me take a sip of this and see if it's all right. Well, it needs a little mixing, Ed. Outside of that, it's not bad at all. I find a straw, honey. You can try it. <laughs> all right. And, uh... See Jackie Robinson. Tell him about my soda fountain, will you? All right, I'll do that. You, you can exchange recipes. Okay. Uh, Anne, while you were working in the movies, did you ever work for Kirk? Um, yes, I worked for him in the public relations field, but uh, today it's the other way around. <laughs> he works like for that? me. He works for you. <laughs> are, are you a hard taskmaster? Well, uh, I am, but um, it wasn't too much fun to work for Kirk. You know, he didn't pay too well. He didn't? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk, uh, you were once a wrestler in college, weren't you? Absolutely. As a a champion. Fact, I got some of my best uh, dramatic training that way, Ed. You mean yeah, that's I where... I quite, quite a bit of uh, wrestling when I was in college. That's where you really learned to act, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I did. As a matter of fact, you see, Ed, one, uh, one summer we worked with a carnival doing a little wrestling, and I at that time was playing the hero. I would be out in front and and go up and take on the challenger to make a few dollars. <laughs> and that was a lot of good dramatic training. That Bust of that. Thank you very much, Ann. Thank you, Kirk, Thank for letting you, us Ed. come and visit you. Ed, good to see you. And Bye. I'll stop out later and pick up that ice cream soda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Good night. Good night. In just a moment, we'll take you for a visit with Roberta Sherwood and her family. <laughs> 